Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Medina TV. In today's video, I want to cover a topic that I feel is long overdue. It's a topic that you guys ask a lot of questions about people saying, oh, I converted to Islam or I want to convert to Islam. But one thing that's really scaring me is telling my parents. If you guys have followed part of my journey, you would know that I've been Muslim for three years now. And there have been some challenges with the communication I've had with my family. But from what I've gone through, I've learned a lot about what you need to do to tell your parents to try to make your relationship with them smoother. There's certain things I feel like I've done well and things I could have done better and I'm hoping that some of these tips can be used to help you guys have a better relationship with your family how to manage that relationship when you tell your parents that you want to convert so if you guys are new to the channel welcome my name is Mehdi Isa I'm a revert to Islam and my wife and I make Islamic content so if you're into that please click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified every time we post without further ado let's get into the video in an ideal world we would be able to like tell our parents all kinds of things and say hey mom and dad I've researched Islam and I really want to convert and they're like wow Johnny that's fantastic go ahead and convert that would be in an ideal world but the honest truth is guys there's a lot of people who have a lot of stereotypes and biases about Islam and other religions so it is for most people a difficult topic to navigate so the first tip I want to give you guys is you want to put together a strategy on how you want to tell your family you need to think about how your family is because ultimately people can give you all kinds of advice and suggestions but we all come from different families some people are more open open-minded especially about religious topics but there's a lot of people also who are not so open-minded so the strategy that you use depends on what kind of family or what kind of situation you're in so you need to take that into consideration another reason why it's important to come up with a strategy on how to tell your parents is because you don't want them to have too much shock or for example they stumble in on you while you're praying and I know some people have actually gone through that but in certain cases it's best to avoid doing that and avoid them finding out that way because there could be a lot of shock and a lot of questions and suspicion on their end so you want it to be in a transparent way if possible also it's important that you reduce the shock when you're telling your parents because you don't want them to get the impression that you've completely changed as a person i think that's one issue that my parents have with me is they think I've gone off the deep end. I'm completely different just because I've changed my religion. But you want to assure them and be confident and, and show them that, hey, I'm still the same person. And if not, Islam has actually made me a better person. And you can do that by trying to reduce the shock in the way that you tell them. And you might be wondering, well, how do I even do that? How do I reduce the amount of shock that, that goes into this, this type of conversation? This is where step two comes in. Step two is you want to be really gradual in the way that you approach this topic. But it depends on the family. If your family is more open-minded, you can try to do certain things. Like for example, you can share facts about Islam. You can say, hey, I'm taking a course on it or I'm learning online. I found this interesting fact about Islam. What do you think? Or you can try taking them to a mosque or, or to a certain Islamic event and feel it out. This is a good strategy if you guys don't know how your parents are and how they'd react to this stuff because it gives you a sense of how open-minded or closed-minded your parents are gonna be to this. Another reason why it's good to be gradual is you take them along that journey. So especially for those people who have not converted converted yet, you have now an opportunity to take your family along on a journey of you learning. So when you do take that next step and you want to convert to Islam, they've been like, hey, you know, Johnny's been studying for quite a while. He's been learning a lot of cool things and he's just changing his religion. It's not a big deal. That's the type of reaction that you would want. And by being gradual, that's a way that you're able to achieve that. Another question that could come up about this is like, wait, so how long do I have to be gradual? What if I've studied Islam for a long time? I'm ready to convert. What do I do in that case? I think it's really, really important that regardless of how much knowledge you have, you want to be patient with this process and feel out how their reaction is going to be. So if you're in a position where you can feel out their reaction and share some cool facts about Islam or share what you've learned, share some resources, and you feel like they could be receptive to that, that's even better. If you don't feel like they can be receptive at all, then you're gonna probably have to skip this step just as I did because they're not gonna wanna listen to you and they might, for example, threaten to disown you or to kick you out and you don't want that. So the best case scenario for this, for those close-minded families, you might have to wait to tell them afterwards and I will give you suggestions on what to do at that point. Step number three is actually going through and telling your parents that you want to convert to Islam. So you've done all of your research, you're ready to take that step or you've taken that 
next step and you have to actually approach the conversation, but you're not sure what to do. So after I converted to Islam, I actually spent a month thinking about this because I knew that regardless of how I tell my parents, they're not going to react well to this. So after spending some time thinking about it, I knew that if I met up with them in person and told them because I wasn't living with them at the time, it could have potentially been a hostile situation because, you know, it's a it's a big deal where I'm from to convert, especially to Islam. So they were not going to react well to that. Then I thought maybe I could call them, but I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this because I know they're going to cut me off. It's going to be a very emotional conversation and I don't want to be, you know, lash out on them or be angry or anything. I want to maintain my composure. So my idea with how I did it was I sent them a message, actually quite a long message explaining that I converted to Islam, the reasons why I did it. And then on top of that, I mentioned that I wanted to get married to Mubina. We knew that we had feelings and I know it's a topic people mention, oh, you converted for her. It wasn't that reason. But when you convert to Islam, there's not supposed to be that pause period where you can say, oh, I'll wait two years to get married. No. So, so we were in a position where we had to keep things halal between us. So that's why we had to get married. So my thought was, okay, I will tell my family everything at once to just get the, the shock over with. And that did not go well at all. Because what happened was I messaged them. I was going to call them up right after and be like, hey, I converted. This is the reason. But they completely went the other way with this. And this is why if you guys are in a position where you can talk to them, I would suggest do that first. Don't try to do things where you feel it out through messages because messages and emails can often be misunderstood. And even if your intention is to have a dialogue right after, you could throw them off from wanting to even talk to you. So I would suggest if you're able to try to have some sort of dialogue in person, if you can, if you can't, then try to do it over the phone. And I would suggest also keep the conversation light. Don't overwhelm them with too much information. Try to keep it kind of short and sweet. Like this is my decision. This is why I did it. Understand why you converted to Islam. And then you might need to give them some space to digest what you've said. Don't try to overwhelm them with too much information. Because remember, you want to reduce the shock in that conversation that you have with them. And if you cannot be gradual with the way that you approach the topic of conversion, then you need to approach it in a very delicate and very calm way. Another thing to add here is you want to catch them at a good time. If you were able to and you know they're in a good mood, it's better to tell them at that time. Pick and choose wisely when you tell them and you want to pick and choose wisely the way that you approach the conversation. Okay, step number four. Let's say you've told your family and they are now curious about, so why did you convert to Islam? This is early on after you've just converted. You want to have resources to be able to explain to them why you made that decision because if you're not confident in the reason why you converted, they're going to start doubting you and be like, you just switched up for no reason. Why are you leaving something that you didn't have a reason to leave? You want to show that you have the knowledge for why you converted. In addition to that, I would suggest try to bridge gaps with what their belief is and what yours is. So let's say, for example, you come from a Christian family and they're wondering, why did you convert to Islam if the religions are so similar? I would focus more on the similarities between Islam and Christianity than the differences. So for example, you could let your family know, hey, I still love Jesus, peace be upon him. I just don't view him as a son of God. I view him as a very important prophet. So he's in our religion. The view about giving charity is really important. A lot of the values that Jesus teach are in Islam. And then just try to focus more on those similarities so then they can be like, oh, it's actually not so bad. If they have questions about, well, why does it say this in the media? Why do they show this? Try to have articles or YouTube videos or links or sources available that you can share with them to show that, hey, Islam is not what you guys see on the media or on TV. It is a religion of peace. And just kind of show them where they can get access to correct information about Islam so they don't have these kind of misconceptions about what the religion's about. And point number five that I want you guys to remember, it's really, really important, is to know that when you convert to Islam, you are representing the Muslim community. You are now Muslim. You identify with that religion. So it's really, really important that you show your family how Islam has made you a better person. And there's ways to do that. So for example, if your parents are upset with you and they're telling you that they don't like your decision or they want to understand why, try your best to be a, a source where they can vent to you. They can share share their frustrations, they can share their feelings about it. So then they can get that shock out of their system, especially if they are not the open minded type, try to take a step back, be patient and listen to them, listen to them. Now, it can get to a place where it might just be too much. And they're going like insulting you a lot, insulting your religion, insulting certain things, and you can't handle that kind of conversation. So you might need to take breaks as well. But try to give them as much time as you can for them to vent out to you show them how Islam has changed you to made you a better person. If you live with them, I feel like it's a lot easier to do that. You can show them the way that, you know, for example, that you're praying throughout the day, how charitable you are, how respectful you are to your parents. Show them a higher level of respect that you've ever shown them before. I feel like that's really important. And then they'll see, wow, you know what? It's actually not that bad. He's really become a better person for that. That's the ideal situation.
situation. So even if they don't accept it at first, there's a lot of families that do come around with time because they see how it's positively influenced you. So I definitely suggest to keep that in mind. And if they aren't responding well, just try to be patient and, and make prayers for them. Be as patient as you can. It's a really difficult situation to be in. But when you need to take a break from those conversations, Give yourself that space to take a break. Understand that, you know, parents hold a very high regard in Islam, so we also need to be respectful to them. If you feel like at the time you can't do that, take a break, come back, and maybe reach out to them, see how they're doing. And if they need to rant to you, have an open ear and listen to them, even if you disagree with what they're saying. Don't come at them in a very argumentative or rude or disrespectful way because that's just gonna repel them even further. So I know this was kind of a lot of information, but my hope from this video is you guys can, even if you take one point from this video when you're telling your parents, you can think about, for example, how do I strategize when I'm telling them? Can I be gradual in this situation when I'm telling them so they're not as shocked in the end? What's the best way to tell them so it doesn't make them feel overwhelmed or shocked or disappointed? Think about these things a little bit more. Think about how you can answer their questions if they come at you after you've converted. Make sure you have some answers. You don't have to know every single answer or have a point for everything, but just have some level of knowledge so you can share that with them so they, they understand your reasoning for why you did it. And finally, you wanna show them what it means to be a good Muslim, to be a good human being and a person person. So that will help them come around with time to see that you've positively changed for the better. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I feel like it could help to maybe make a follow-up video talking about what to do if say your family does not accept your decision because it's something that I've dealt with for the past three years having some difficult communication with family. But I can also give some suggestions on tips on how to deal with that. So if you guys like this video, remember please hit that subscribe button. Share your thoughts. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover on the topic of conversion and I'll be happy to make a video for you guys. I I appreciate you guys listening to this video and I hope to catch up with you again soon. Take care and assalamu alaikum.